Missouri's middle class and ask her to make sure that programs like Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid, and education are not cut during these fiscal cliff deals. And also that we ask that the wealthy, is 2% of Americans, pay their fair share and we do not extend those Bush tax cuts for those two, but extend them for the middle class. With that, I'd like to turn it over to Minister Roosevelt Rodnack. saying this here, we're here to wake the town and tell the people that we're tired and that we're fed up and that we're not going to take it no more. All right. All right. We have a broad coalition of concerned Missourians who are assembled here today. We're assembled calling on Senator Claire McCaskill to continue to champion the program that millions of Missourians rely upon day in and day out. Politicians in Washington, D.C., they were elected to represent all Americans and not just the 2% of Americans. Yeah. 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 So our message to them who fall into this category is simple and clear. Stop destroying the heritage of freedom. All right. All right. All right. All right. Start loving people and using things. Right now, you're using people, loving things, and using people. We want you to understand that today we stand firm, that we want you to preserve the tax cuts for the middle class and working Americans, and thereby ensuring that the wealthy pay their fair share. We want you to protect the benefits and the programs of Social Security, Medicare, and Social Security. Right. 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 We want you to understand that we're not going away. We want you to do the right thing for all Americans, not just for a few Americans. Fired up, ready to go! Fired up, ready to go! Fired up, ready to go! Yes. 
benefits for all workers seeking to better their standards of living. Right. I'd like to leave you with a quote from Hubert Humphrey, a great legislator and humanitarian. He said, it was once said that the moral test of government is how that government treats those who are in the dawn of life, the children. Those who are in the twilight of life, the elderly, and those who are in the status of life, the sick, the needy, and the handicapped. Every time I hear this, I realize that basic human values never change. We now ask Senator Clark Haskell to protect these values. Stand up for us.